Well, summer's almost here, which means that's the peak time for grazing for a lot of beef producers. So Dave, as we move into these summer months, mineral supplements is always on a topic of mind for these producers. Yeah, I mean, cattle have a requirement for salt, sodium and chloride, uh, ab above all other nutrients in forage, sodium is the most deficient. And so cattle are gonna be looking for salt this time of year. So one common uh, mineral formula that's fed this time of year has around 16% salt. And if the cows aren't consuming, say two and a half to three ounces a day, they're probably not getting quite enough salt. And so one handy little trick uh, is just to take a red Solo cup and a bag of, of feed grade salt and add about four Solo cups uh, to a 50 pound bag of mineral and that takes your concentration of 16% salt up to about 25% salt. And if they'll continue to consume around three ounces, that should get them enough salt to meet the requirements. So keeping the uh, uh, mineral supplement out is important and maybe trying to help the cattle regulate their consumption might be the other important thing this time of year. Otherwise, the concentration of, of other minerals, you know, calcium, phosphorus, the trace minerals like uh, selenium, copper, zinc, they're pretty good this time of year. So that's not as much a concern. Now it will be later in the summer as those concentrations reduce as the, or decline as the forage matures. So I think the main thing is to tr just kind of track the consumption of the mineral and if, if they're not consuming enough according to the, the label, uh, then you might want to intervene and try to in increase their intake or in some cases uh, producers may have to uh, reduce the intake. Well that was going to lead to my next question like how often do they need to be kind of to be, be, to be doing this? Well I, we, like to, we like to put out about a week's worth at a time and so that just gives you a good way you know if you have a, a schedule where you go back and check the mineral feeders as you check your cattle let's say every Monday morning uh, you, you can kind of look in there and see if it's completely gone, you know, maybe you need to put a little bit more out. If the cattle aren't consuming enough, uh, you know, a simple thing to do is maybe add a little bit more salt because if, if you've got a low salt mineral product and if that doesn't work, then you can move to something that's more palatable uh, to, to stimulate mineral intake. So how long are we talking? Is this something that just needs to kind of carry them through up until we get to fall? Throughout, throughout grazing, uh, they, they're going to, it's always going to be the forage is always going to be low in sodium. As the season progresses on native pasture in particular, phosphorus begins to decline in the forage as it matures and eventually it gets below the animal's requirement. And so uh, that the same thing can be said for the trace minerals. So one really important idea relative to uh, feeding mineral is uh, a lot of veterinarians recommend uh, providing chlorotetracycline uh, this time of year primarily for anaplasmosis control and through the summer. And so producers just need to know that they need to have a conversation with their veterinarian. All right, thanks Dave. Dr. Dave Lawman, Extension Beef Cattle Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.